What's up everybody? Welcome back to Voyage RC. Um, got an unboxing video for you today. I just picked up the uh, X6 Cubed from X Factory RC. Um, this is an upgrade kit for my B4 that you've seen in uh, several of my previous videos. Um, turning it into a dedicated racer and uh, for any of you guys that make it out to the track nowadays you know that for two-wheel drive buggy mid motor is pretty much the way to go these days there are some tracks where rear motor dominates but more than likely it's the mid motor setup that's going to be dominant on the track a um, little backstory on me getting the X Factory uh, probably a little over a year, year and a half ago I made it back out to my hometown in Arizona went out to watch one of the club races at a Scottsdale RC Speedway they host the Cactus Classic um, met a gentleman named Martin Beavers he was kind enough to let me wheel his buggy around the track not only in practice but in the races as well he let me handle it um, he was driving uh, X Factory X6 squared at the time I believe um, I believe he has since then upgraded to the X6 cubed but I was really impressed with the uh, the design of the chassis, the looks of the chassis, and it handled really well. So um, ever since that point, I've really been into X Factory. Um, they do a great job. Good quality parts. I know Paul Sinclair and uh, Chaz both run the shop very well, and they put out a good product. So uh, thanks, guys, if you're watching. Thanks for doing that. You guys do a good job and uh, I wish the best of luck to you guys and your company and I know that uh, the way it's been going you guys are just going to keep innovating and keep putting out good products so keep it up. Anyways you're probably sick of listening to me talk about this thing why don't we uh, get it open and uh, see what's inside. Got the X-Acto knife with the nice sharp blade on it. You know what, before we cut into it, let's take a look at the box for a little bit. Alright, you can see the nice X6 cubed on the front. They do have some artwork on the side. Um, the paint on this body was done by Mark Samuelson and the photo was by Steve Archer. Obviously you got X6 cube conversion kit. Um, here you go, the part number XFCK030. This is the conversion kit for the B4 4.1 or 4.2. Basically, any B4 chassis. It's the other side of the box. Engineering without fear, I like that good statement for the company. Um, if you're interested they do have a website xfactoryrc.com or you can find them on facebook.com slash xfactoryrc. So, you know I think I'm going to do this one upside down. I don't want to really cut through that so I'm going to cut open the bottom of it and uh, let's get into it. A little backwards but hey Whatever, I don't care. See, that worked out good. We got the instruction manual right on top now. It's nice, nice and thick. Got some nice stickers in there. It's always a plus. Looks like they give you a nice starting setup. Driver Dan Greenwood. Looks like I got a lot of nice information in here. Help you understand what changes do what. That'll be nice. Nice photos for the build. Looks like a nice quality instruction manual even shows you how the 
disassembly should go of the B4. Let's get to the goods. Looks like the carbon fiber top deck. Nice carbon fiber chassis. This thing is gorgeous. Looks so good you almost just want to set it on the shelf and not even run it. We got Paul's signature, looks like number 166. Don't know if that's 166 total kits he's done or what, but or if it's just out of that batch. Who knows? Nice labeled bags. The way you know what you're getting into when you go through the instruction manual. Grab bag up. There you go. New rear arms. More carbon fiber and machined aluminum. Here's the motor plate. With the new transmission, the four gear training. It's like rear shock tower and wing mounts. go here's the the wing X factory 8103 medium downforce wing and the body the nice one about this kit is I believe you don't have to cut out a section right here for the motor and transmission most of the other mid motor cars have a little cutout right there for clearance I believe this one sits all under the body which gives it a little nicer look cleans it up a little bit anyways guys that's it we're down to an empty box so uh, I'm gonna do a build series for this one starting with the disassembly of the B4 so stay tuned and uh, Thanks for watching. I'm super excited to join the X Factory team. Not team rather, but family. I'm not sponsored by them. But thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and take it easy.